How's it going beautiful people? Teddy Cap Gaming here once again and we are continuing Fran Bo. I don't remember what part this is, but we are getting pretty deep into the game. I absolutely love this game and you guys should really really try this out for yourselves. Talk to Mr. Midnight. Oh kitty, what will be the first thing you do when you get home? Eat, of course. Eat until I fall asleep and you... Hee <laughs> hee. I think I would like the same. Now, I'm sorry if, like, I'm not consistent with these voices. I'm not the greatest at voices, but I'm trying. <laughs> Alright, so let's explore. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on, we have to go home. There is no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm afraid of heights. Um, I can go first, alright? Then you follow me. Alright, kitty. You are so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Oh. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here, please? You'll just leave me all alone like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear friend. You will soon understand. Damn, that's pretty depressing. Aunt Grace, no. Don't go, please. Please! I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty? Kitty, stop it! What are you talking about? Fran? My darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it is. Who else would it be? Fran, you are a tree! Don't be silly. Help me get up. Oh, wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree. What? But how? Oh, my dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. It was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. That night, Mom and Dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. 
But you are a tree, my friend. A tree? I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where you are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Omka, give me me hola. Okay, okay, Igrumna. Ask you hola me. Igni, Jokle, Venti. Why are you poking me, damn it, with a stick? Ah, uh, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Hula Poki Hula. <laughs> Stop it, or I'll scratch you. Hula Rumna Igni. What are they saying? Oh, my kitty, why is this happening to us? Hula! Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Hula Igni Vanti. Kitty, help me find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I will see what I can do, friend. This dude's just freaking stabbing me with a damn thingy. Okay, so that's not gonna stay. Maybe I can take one of these. Yes! Kitty put that thing in there. Oh, wow. Duh! <laughs> Alright, let's grab this. I got the purse! Only because I'm the best! Okay, uh, I got a friend. Give me the purse. Friend, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing, you're the best, Mr. Renly. Now show the sir who is attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. So yes. With walking vegetable. Hola, <laughs> Nihoka! Ah! Runa! Paskin Aochu! Oh my god, where are you taking me? <laughs> exactly what I'm saying. They want to help you, friend. I can feel it. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. Galumma. Galumma. I can't do anything they're saying right now. I'm trying. I'm really trying. <laughs> Vegetative State. Chapter 3. I should have read that the other way. Oh well. Itmin bao minokas be zir nihula aunum irushmau itim gorska imitan ufrio gorska zir o welcome creature my name is zir did you speak human oh my goodness yes finally words I understand. <laughs> My good friend Ride tells me you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them. The little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yes, because this is just one huge acid trip. No. <laughs> uh, help me, please. I'm a girl. Ho, ho, ho. No need to speak, my child. The seed will tell you. The seed will show me everything. Item manukais ecto. Ecto bro. Ecto prot. family tree. I was about to say fro. <laughs> ah. Your name is Fran. You're the little girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat. Protector of gates. Interesting. 
Can you see all that in the seed? Be quiet. I see something. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You were not supposed to be here, friend. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you cannot feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. Damn. I can guarantee there are some people out there that are dead inside. So this is true. Then I'm not dead. Uh, little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home, I implore you. I, uh, I have a question. Are you the king? Ha ha ha. You are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Etherstar. Oh, what's an honor, your highness? By the way, I like your leaves. They are very pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of oh, why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. Wrong fucking voice. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused all the time and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own risk. Well, your own task. To walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to walk and talk on this island. Yes, sir. That would be great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Great. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me, miss. Do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. You sound so kind. This is incredible. Did you understand, my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances, on fragrances and sound. Jesus, I can't read. You'll see everything as your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And sir... Do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? Depends on the heights. Damn. Take her upstairs immediately. Where? Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, friend. I love you. Look at them sexy legs. Girls would die for them sexy legs. Oh my god, it's so cold in my apartment. <laughs> Be gone a sec. Huh? Oh! Good day. My name is Polantris, and I'm your doctor today at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing. What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. I... It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. 
I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs, but we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. Hopefully I remember that voice for later. <laughs> Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Valak is created. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Who is the great Valakis? Haven't you heard of the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken. He was all alone. But he came to Etherstha, and his blood made this water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And how is it that you are here? What brought you to Etherstha? My kitty and I, we were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds horrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But, Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed, but you wanted to keep being friend. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell that will maintain all your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow, but Palantra, sir. How? I didn't know what I was doing anything. You didn't really know what you were doing? I see. Well, when you travel to Thursday, you open a door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter a reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. Oh, why is it crying? I cannot see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you are so nice. And you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Hmm. Yes, Doctor. Soldier of the Sun, Spirit of the Water. Give Fran her arms and legs. feel fan for me, Thursda. Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you you would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think you could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you so much for helping me. You are the best doctor I've ever had. You are fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Deere, but he was an evil old man. An old man? Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Whoops. Wrong voice. I was reading that in. Let's go. I'll leave you at the station. Jeez. It's hard to remember that they have distinctively different voices, but it's fantastic anyways. Here we are again. Shows here the king what a nice Ethurston is you've become. Thank you again, doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. 
you, fluffy kitty. Ah, do you like that? Ha ha. Here I am. Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Ooh, excuse me. My god, that tea is making me burp. Oh, let me see you. What a great Ithersthenes you've become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry, Polantis will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard? Yes, the great wizard is the only one who was able to bring back your human body. I keep reading these damn words out of order anyways. Oh, jeez. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where is this wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. Haha. <laughs> you haven't even gone outside this castle and you already want to know everything? That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, friend. The great wizard... The great wizard? Jeez. <laughs> the great wizard lives in the great mountain Kotrum. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him, and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the Great Wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain you said? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great ethos today, and good luck finding the great wizard. Oh my god, for the Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature kitty? That's Polantris, he fixed me. Yes, certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot his request. Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they are on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the great wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain too. <clears throat> yes, mountain culture. The great wizard lives there. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Oh, do that little branch hand. That's so cute. Let's see. Oh, many clouds. No, no, you can't get in. It's closed. Oh, closed? I didn't know what's behind this passage. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back and follow winter. Then it will be open. Hey, aren't you that talking tree had six of Palantris? Yes, that's me. Palantris gave me arms and legs. That's very positive. Hehe, <laughs> yes. But why is the library closer? Well, that's logical. As the sun goes around the second moon of the third step, we open. Only then will the real knowledge be learned. And that only happens in fall of winter. Well, thank you for the information, sir. Boy. My boy. boy. Wow, this is a bit scary, but it's so beautiful. Yeah, because having a thing that just goes out into the sunset, well, the, the sky is normal. Hello, sir. Are you a guard? Yes. I am, oh, I see. Do you know where the mountain culture is? Yes. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Say something other than yes. <laughs> the mountain kildrum is only in winter time. Winter time? What are you talking about? Hmm. Of course, winter time. What do you think? I see. Bye bye. Oh wow, I don't understand. We don't understand either, friend. <laughs> it's okay. 
Oh wow, this place is so pretty. Oh, so many fish. They seem to be in a hurry. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful lake. Ah, oh, that's where we are. I'm guessing that's the mountain. I think that's the castle. That's the ground. That's Belampish's home. Well, this is very informative. Grocery, mountain, library, and castle. Okay. This is going actually pretty well. Alright, so let's go this way. Huh. Oh, clock. It has symbols and colors, but it doesn't seem to show the time. Well, I guess the time works differently here in the third street. Huh, I would like to borrow that boat. mountain top is very high because it's the top. I wonder what a talking mountain would sound like. Don't we all? It's nothing here but trees and flowers. Alright, so there's nothing here. There is nothing here. So let's continue. Oh, this flower looks like it's waiting to bloom. It is really nice here. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go this way. Ooh, the market. Hello. Ah, oh, hello. Who is there? Who? Me, friend. You can't see me. Oh, now I see a little. You have four eyes. <laughs> wow. Okay. Four eyes. I don't have. Er, what are you selling? Only the best plabas. Sure, they look like coconuts. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect. They are not coconuts. That's. Hello, I'm Frank. What are you doing? Good day. I'm Pruta. I'm molding this piece of iron. <laughs> I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clock maker. Oh, I see. So you can make a kind of metallic stuff? Sure, if you have some ideas, we can talk about them and padam! I'll do it. <laughs> padam. <laughs> That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working. If you need my services, you know where I am. Just standing there. Oh, is that the clock dude? Hello, what are you doing? Hmm, working on my clock. <coughs> oh, I see. Sir, do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Hmm, do you know where the mountain potrum is? Mountain potrum only exists in winter time, otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be a mountain potro. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. A layered reality? What? That sounds great. What should I do then? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where is the clock? Well, go towards the castle, but turn to your left when you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You're a very nice guy. But that thing doesn't work. Oh, hello, miss. I think you have beautiful things. Thank you, dear. Would you like some? I have to go now. Goodbye, miss. Okay, who is this Hello, lady. How do you know that's a lady? Good day. What would you like to read? I can't 
can't read the birds. Um, what is the person's language called? If you don't know, it's called Ethernish. Are you a tourist? Hehe, <laughs> yes I am. A tourist. I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen a friend either. <laughs> Welcome to Ethernish. I hope you will have fun here. Sir. Good day, little creature. I have seen flying boats, sir. How does that work? Think about them floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. And could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home? I see. Sadly, these boats only work in Easterstiny. Well, with Easterstiny. Huh, I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. Boat ready to depart up and beyond. I guess not. A lot of wood, maybe. Special Hello, little root. You are so cute. Oh, thank you. You are cute too. Hee hee. I'm friend. And you? Me? No, I'm not friend. I'm Zelma. I want to sing all day long. Ihi, <laughs> what's your favorite song? My favorite song goes like this. One and one are two. One and two are three. Two and three are five. And three and five are eight. And I don't remember anymore. But I learned that in school. It's fun. Oh, that sounds very mathematical. I have to go now, and you have beautiful fruits, by the way. See you! Hello! Good day, young one! I don't know why, but he reminds me of fucking Jar Jar Binks. But snail version. Oh, uh, what are you doing? The war is about to start, and I can't see meaning in the meaning. Huh? What do you mean? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you come back alive. <laughs> Join you? Join you where? The game is about to begin. You are the Kamalus. I am the Palakis. Black and white as shadows and light. Is this a sort of board game, sir? Yes, a board game. Let's immerse in this adventure. You against me. I give you a coin if you want, eh? What do you say? Yeah, sure, what are the rules? First, to place three of the same figures in a diagonal. Okay, we toss the machinery to see who begins. Are you in? Yeah, sure, it sounds like a game used to tic tac, so yes. Uh, but why would you. I went, time is gold, and I'm almost. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. Well, I see. Let's play. Right, Problem. Hmm. Yes, I don't have any. The big clock on the tree is broken. A broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you. I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my lifetime, my life's time goes to waste. What do you mean? 
I charge one big gold and time is gold. You know. Here, sir, your golden coin. Yes, but you have to offer me the job first, alright? Do it and be cool. Would you like to fix my clock? In exchange for this piece of gold and in the name of, uh, time, I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course. That was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great. Let's go to the big clock and fix it. Whoa. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> You are right. The clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course. Just a second. Oh, shit. <coughs> Whoa. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Oh, there. What is it? It seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? I mean, somebody broke it. It's immoral. Breaking a defenseless clock. Arg. Why would somebody break it? Kamalus, Winter, Mountain Cultrum, The Stones. Many reasons, miss. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Kamalus, the evil darkness. They work for Remor, the terrible black. And Kamalus are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me. Remor wants the stones, but I don't understand. What I don't understand is for what purpose. Those stones are meaningless for him in his kingdom. And the stones are in wintertime. Is Remor a giant black monster with a goat mask? A dead goat mask? Yes. You know him? Yes. I think it's because of him. I mean, this land. I'm a human, you know. Oh, a human. Now I understand. And I also need the stones. They are my way back home. I hope it's not too late. Aha. Uh -huh. That is why you need to go into wintertime and go to the mountain and go to them. Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the great wizard and borrow the stones. Hmm. Well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easy for you. Here. Ooh. It's a remote control for the clock. You will be able to travel into all four seasons with just a quick turn. But it's just a prototype, so it may not work for you if you're too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. All right, Mr. Cogwind. I'm friend, by the way. See you soon. Bye. Wow. So, we definitely moved on forward. But I'm going to leave Franbo part, I have no idea, here. And I will pick this up in the next video. Please, please watch the other videos that I have played so far for this game. It is fantastic. I love this so much. And... You guys should definitely play this on your own, just to experience everything. So, with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.